My Ferrari 812 GTS has a problem that not even Ferrari can fix. After driving 3,000 miles across Europe on a road trip with Matt Armstrong, my dream car decided to break down. The next day I took it to Ferrari and they fixed the issue. So I thought. I drove it two minutes up the road and BOOM! It happened again. It's a show of Christmas lights again. I have every fault on my Ferrari. But that honestly wasn't even the worst part. I then received this message. We've been notified by Ferrari North Europe that you've made modifications to your Ferrari vehicle and this has invalidated the warranty. This left me stranded 3,000 miles away from home in Monaco with my brand spanking new Ferrari that Ferrari is refusing to fix. This is this is not happening. Wait for this. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Constantine, the owner of Brabus, heard that I no longer had access to a car. So he sent me a wee surprise. That is a surprise. Really, really loud. That is yeah, is it? Yeah, it's really loud. That is funny. Look at that. Look at that. You will all remember my friend Chris from our road trip across Europe and his extreme bad luck. I've got no time for it, man. It didn't stop there for him. It seems like we both are extremely unlucky. So I said, what else could go wrong this morning? Oh. Um, don't worry. You never guess what? I got a speeding ticket from Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> How? <laughs> the rental car. Oh, the rental car. <laughs> <laughs> but that's only a speeding ticket, mate. Yeah, that's that could only... be worse. I could have a broken Ferrari. Exactly. <laughs> you're, talking, you're talking about... Oh, man. What else could go wrong? <laughs> I can crash this car. Go for it. It's got a 458 exhaust on it. <laughs> it's a madness. <laughs> it's, the wheels are bigger than what I've got in some of mine. Uh, in a bit. From a Ferrari to a smart car, that's how you do it. Levels. Things went from bad to worse. I received a call that my mother was extremely ill and I had to fly to Finland to see her. It's been one month and I just got word that I can finally pick up my Ferrari. The question is, have all the problems been solved? The weather is fantastic here. It is absolutely amazing. Isn't it? What about you? What about you? Off to Dublin airport. It's 6.30 in the morning. We got good news. I can come, come and collect the car. And this story is getting a complete new angle. Enjoy your sausage bap. This is an Irish delicacy. Car's coming back. Oh, are you getting it back? I'm gonna drive it back. Yeah, well, I got that. You're not gonna fly it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drive it back for 2,000 kilometers. I'm gonna try to do it in one go. Not even a pit stop. Not even a pit stop. Not even a fuel stop. F it. That's me now. Airport, Dublin. It is on time. I've now been trying for about 15 minutes to leave this airport, so let's hope I'm heading towards the right direction now. A lot has happened since Monaco, since that last clip on the last video about the Ferrari. I'm currently in Munich, Germany, and I'm here for a reason. I'm here to finally pick up my car. We have good news, we have amazing news, because the car is back to work in order. Before we go into all that stuff, it's important to summarize where we are, where we left it. Um, I left the car in Monaco with a Ferrari dealer and uh, they were gonna fix it. At that day, that same day, I got a phone call that absolutely changed everything. My mother was taken into hospital in a critical situation, a critical condition, in a country that wasn't hers. She was on a holiday with my father and she was taken into hospital in a very bad state in Finland. So I got help from my good friend Konstantin from Brabus and uh, he got me a boat, he got me a helicopter and he got me a flight to Finland uh, to, see my, uh, to, see my, uh, to see my parents and to support my father and of course to see my mom. It was, a, it was an emotional situation, it was a bit weird but I basically forgot about the car for a couple of days, to be honest, and uh, I was glad to. And then I got saved. I got saved by the best people you can imagine. Oh. That's me back at Novitec in Germany. I cannot wait to see my own car back. Oh my God, I've missed that car. Oh, there she is. There she is. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, there she is. That is ridiculous. <laughs> this is just so surreal. I, I'm not gonna lie, right? It has been a hell of a journey. And for you guys that watch the videos, and I've, 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 I've read a lot of the comments, right? And uh, I appreciate the comments very much, the good ones and the positive ones, the negative ones as well. And I mean, for me, being able to, to drive this and being able to purchase that was a dream coming true. I mean, I come from nothing and, and the fact that I've been able to do what I love first and foremost, work with my biggest passion, which is watches, and being able to drive a nice car, a Ferrari, a, 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 a brand that I had toy cars with when I was a kid. For me, it was an absolute dream coming true to have this car. And whenever whenever I got the took delivery of the car, it was, it was a family affair, you know? It was something that, I wanted my son to be involved with as well. Like he, mean, I mean, when we picked up the car, he was was it seven, eight months. I mean, that's crazy. And the goal was always with this car to hand this down to the next generation. And I actually have that described in the car, like for the next generation. Whenever shit hits the fan, and we made some YouTube videos out of it. Like I needed to make YouTube videos out of it because this car cost me about four grand, now three thousand seven hundred quid a month. So I I need to recoup that and and make sure that we can pay the finance with that. But like whenever, whenever this stuff happened, that happened, that, 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 really broke my, that really broke my heart. And now, travel to Munich, after everything that happened, I have the car back. I'm, I'm feeling that one definitely because it was a rough time with, with my own family, with my own parents. Whenever the car broke down, I had to leave the car in Monaco and I was, aiming to stay in, in in that part of the world. I wouldn't stay in Monaco, I would stay in Nice because the hotels would have been, been a wee, wee bit cheaper. But I got news that my, my mom was 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 in hospital in, in Finland in a very bad, bad, bad state. And, and I basically left the car and, and, and yeah, it was just, it was one big fucking shit show to be honest. But I, I'm, I'm just gonna say this, the guys from, from Novitech, I mean, they picked up the car, they helped me, they, they reassured me, they, they were fucking amazing. They, they actually picked up the car. And uh, it's now time to really go through what actually happened and what went wrong with the car. So, the car shit the bed. Everything went wrong. Every bit of light you can imagine was on, every error. Every error you can imagine, the car was basically absolutely cooked. What was the problem? And many of you guys in the comments were right. Chris was right. Everyone was right. Like, I'm not a very great, good mechanic. I would argue to say I'm a fucking useless mechanic, but that is me. But indeed, it was something electronical. Let me tell you one thing, and let me show you what the actual problem was. Let me close the roof because it started raining, right? You see this? This thing. This thing was the problem. It was just a bloody battery. Novitech has gone through this entire car. Every wire, every fuse, every connection, everything on this car has been checked and it still gave the error. Now, let me, let me talk you through what actually was done. Every wire, every fuse, every plug, every connection has been checked and everything ended up with the same conclusion. The errors came back. The car arrived at Novitech and it went immediately into the workshop. It tested every wire, every plug, every connection, every fuse, and then deleted all the errors, and then drive it for five miles, and bam, all the errors were back. It has happened. This is a process for two and a half weeks until they made the decision to say, you know what? Let's just replace the battery. And guess what? That solved every issue. Just a bloody battery.
And I am so ridiculously grateful. I'm just saying this, right? Every one of this process has been brilliant and I'm, I don't want to give off to Ferrari. I know, right? I knew what I was gonna get, gonna get into, that Ferrari was gonna complain about warranty and whatever, I knew that, right? The thing is as well, right? I still have the original parts. And this is one thing that's really important to know. And this is also the different with, difference with watches. I can go and get this back to complete stock. Right? You can't do that with a watch, right? When you ice out a watch, the watch is fucked, right? Because I got a lot of comments about that. You talk about don't uh, put aftermarket uh, stuff or diamonds on your watch. And I'm like, you do this with cars. I can put this car back to stock tomorrow if I want to, but I don't. I'm a big Ferrari fan. What can I say? I fucking love the brand. It is the most, for me, something I always dreamed of and never thought it would be possible for me to drive. Not even drive, let alone owning a Ferrari. Although it's on finance, I still own it, right? I thought that that was something that is completely not possible for me. I love the brand. This is my favorite car brand. And I think, in general, I think it's the best car, man, car brand in the world. And what you see here is just a, an extremely high-tech machine. Things can go wrong. That's a fact. I mean, it, there's a complicated computer. This is extreme engineering and shit can go wrong. It is what it is. It's a high-tech machine. What do you expect? It, it's got nothing to do with Ferrari. It's got nothing to do with their quality. The amount of A12s that are driving in this world in comparison to the ones that go wrong, I would argue to say that this is probably one of the only ones that really went wrong, but that is just bad luck. And next to that, People making comments about, yeah, it's probably Novitech, and I'm like, that's a complete load of bollocks. Where there's nearly a thousand A12s driving around with the Novitech system, all without a problem. This is the first time Novitech has seen this ever in the world. I'm so glad that it was just a battery. First of all, financially, but second of all, it has nothing to do with Novitech. Like, I really want to make this clear, right? Because I have an incredible dealership back in Belfast, Charles Hurst, and particularly Jack, right? If you ever have a problem with a Ferrari and you're wherever you are in the world, call Charles Hurst in Belfast, ask for Jack. That guy is a fucking legend. He went above and beyond through the evening, through the night to help me, to speak to me, to to at least give me advice or to calm me down. I mean, what an incredible dealership. I couldn't have asked for more. And then Novitech, like picking up the car, they didn't have to do that. They picked up the car, they went through the car because the car has been here for nearly three weeks, where they went through every wire, every connection, every plug. They didn't have to do that, but they did. And let me tell you, they didn't charge me a penny. Now, for me, that means not the money side, right? Forget about that but that is just good people doing good things. And I appreciate that. I, I read your comments. A lot of you guys were right. It was just a battery. Whenever I picked this up for the first time, that was my first ever like new Ferrari and it was mine because I spec'd it the way I, I, I dreamed of the perfect car. And this is why I want to make car content because not because of all the drama, right? It kicked off the, the automotive channel, but just want to talk about stories and what cars means to me. Watches is now my work. It's still my biggest passion, but it's still my work. This, this is not my work. That's my hobby. I love a new Ferrari, but I also love an old fucking car, an old timer. I'm, I just want to drive. I love driving. I love exploring the world. I love, I have driven through nearly every country in Europe. I've done that in an old E30, 316. I, uh, I blew my first, one of my first cars I've ever had. 1988, that car was. I actually sold that car for a thousand euros. I bought that car for my cousin. There's so many stores. I want to rebuild my favorite toy car from when I was a kid. A 348, Ferrari 348. I know it's a fucking horrible driving car, but the 348 Evolution, that was my favorite toy car. And I want to rebuild. I want to have that car. I don't have the money for it now, but I'm going to do that on this channel, you see. I'm just extremely grateful for all the support I've received from Navitech from you guys, because I wouldn't be again here without your support. I wouldn't be able to afford this car without the support of you guys watching the videos, watching the watch channel. I'm the biggest in the world in, in, on YouTube regarding watches. I'll never be the biggest in the car scene, right? I'll never be, and that's not an ambition. 
My ambition is just to have fun and share you guys my passion and the way I approach my love for cars. And I'm not as good and not as clever and not as handy as Matt. I'm not as outrageous as DDE. I'm not as mad as, as, as Strapman. I'm not as crazy as Whistling Diesel. I'm just me, Nico Leonard. And I love cars. Hey, Nico, how are you? Are you, Jack? You well? Yeah, good, thanks yourself. I doing well, mate, doing well. Here, how much is a Ferrari battery? A Ferrari battery? Uh, oh God, I don't know off the top of my head, but you would be, you wouldn't have much change out of 500 pounds sterling. 500 pounds sterling, all right. Can I order four of them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully you don't need four of them. I'm gonna convert my car into a Tesla. I'm just gonna <laughs> make it a battery power car because uh, something goes wrong, I just change the battery and then we uh, are ready to rock and roll. Uh, you know you don't want a Tesla. You know you know you want the big V12. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing more beautiful than a V12. Have you got the car back? Yeah, I'm here with Novi Tech, the guys as well. I appreciate all your help, mate. But uh, I'll see you soon. I can't wait to show you the car, mate. Yes, looking forward to it. Looking I, forward to it. I Enjoy cannot, the drive home. I cannot wait to show you the car. It is fantastic. And by the way, thank you for all your help. Always happy to help. Always the best help Ferrari you. dealer in the world. Period. <laughs> Glad to hear. Cheers, lad. <laughs> thank you for everything. So. That's us bringing the car back to the promised land. Bringing it back to Belfast. And it wasn't long until things went wrong again. Right. At the moment, the car is actually performing all right. I'm happy with that. There's no faults, there's no other things in the system going wrong. Yesterday, however, after driving it from Munich to the Netherlands, it did give me some uh, errors, but it was easy to solve by just switching off the engine. Um, so we're good now, and now I need to do the most important trip, the most important part. I need to drive it to Eimoud in the harbor of Amsterdam, and then uh, I need to get it on a ferry. If that works, we're all right. Because then we're back in the UK and I can expect a bit more support if something goes wrong there. But we need to make that. That's the most important of them all. Uh, we have a few warnings left. Literally the moment I arrived at the boat, the warnings came, showed up. Luckily I am at the boat, but I need this car to stop very, very soon. This is, this is gonna be tricky. So I got on the boat, I have no other footage on the boat, but who cares, this is a man doing a dance on the boat. Yesterday, it drove perfectly fine until I reached the port. Now, everything is fine now, so I'm trying to find a pattern in all the problems basically, and I really, really hope it stays, all the problems stay away, but if it does, then maybe there's an indication to what the actual problem is, because we still don't have a clue. Ever since Novitec has swapped the battery, the car has been much better than it was before, but it still showed errors. Not the same amount of errors that showed up when we were in Italy and Monaco, but it does show a good amount of errors. So um, let's see. Are you, John, are you enjoying this? Very hungover. He's very hungover. We had a we had two shots last night. <laughs> we only had two, two shots. Two, really? We're nearly there. We're nearly there. The car is still holding up well, so that's good. But like I said yesterday, when we arrived at the port from the ferry to Newcastle, the car sh the bed the moment I stopped the car. Now I haven't stopped the car yet, so let's hope it stays this way. Let's hope it stays well. But it's so weird because. The errors come, then they go, it is really annoying. In Italy and in Monaco, I couldn't reset the errors. So whenever you switch off the car, it would reset. That didn't work in Italy, it does work here at this moment. It's just all very weird. Oh, but the sound is fantastic. It's funny that uh, on the way, I've seen also a good few subscribers that started waving and stuff, that's funny. Car still holding up, but here the moment I stopped the last time, or the last two times, it actually shit the bed. So let's see what happens now. We're standing still here. I'm gonna switch off the engine and close the roof. 
and I haven't seen a problem yet. It's really, it's actually really fucking scary, you know? Because you're constantly thinking that something is going wrong or something is wrong. It's really, really bloody annoying. It's not, not a relaxed ownership of a, of a supercar, to be honest, but everything seems to be all right. Let's switch her off and see what happens. Everything seems to be normal, that's good news. I made it to Belfast, safe and sound. The car was performing well, but I'm sitting here now next to my car in the office. And we're facing another bunch of issues. I really wanted to conclude this series with good news. Conclude the series overall, because that, meant, that would have meant that the car is driving amazingly, which it is sometimes. But there's still the same issues seem to arise. Thank you all so much for the love for the support, for all the comments, for the good comments, for the bad comments, for the tips, for the tricks, for just watching the video, it means a lot. And for that, I need some help, you need to buy some God Tier gear. For Black Friday week, you can spin to get some free God Tier. First link in the description. I hope you're gonna win some free God Tier stuff. If not, I hope you're gonna buy some stuff because I need it because this story is not finished yet.